Drawstring bag. For this project, we're gonna start with a 36 by 12 inch rectangle of light woven fabric and two pieces of ribbon that are 37 inches each. The easiest way to cut this is to fold your fabric in half and measure 18 inches by 12 inches. 18 being from the fold so that when you unfold, you have 36 inches. Step one, switch your machine to a zigzag stitch and stitch around all four edges of your fabric. This will keep your fabric from fraying on the inside of your project. Start at the end with a back stitch and make sure you're keeping the edge of the fabric in the middle of your presser foot. Pro tip, to avoid having to start over on your stitches for each side, you can pivot your fabric. Do this by stitching to the end, leaving your needle down in the fabric, lifting up your presser foot and turning your fabric. You can now lower the foot and continue stitching to the next edge. Step two, once you've finished zigzagging, fold the fabric in half, right sides together, and pin along the edges. Make sure that the pins go through both layers of fabric, making the pins go through each side two times. Step three, on each side that you have pinned, measure two inches down from the top and mark with chalk. Then measure an inch below that and make another mark. You may want to place two pins in these spots so that you don't miss them when you're stitching. Step four, stitch the pinned edges at a 5 8 seam allowance. Begin at the top with a back stitch, stitch your first marking and do another back stitch, then lift the needle up and the presser foot and move the fabric until you get to the next marking underneath the needle. Do this one more back stitch here, then stitch to the end and finish with a back stitch. Repeat this step on the other pinned edge. You should now have an opening on the seams on each side. Okay. Trim the threads on these openings. This is where your drawstrings will go. Be sure to clip all of your extra threads. Step five, clip the corner of the bag by cutting triangles, staying within the seam allowance and don't cut over the stitch line. You also wanna make sure that you bust the seams open by rubbing your fingers across either side of the fabric in between your seams. This will open your seam allowance on the inside of the bag. Step six, fold the top of the bag down on the inside. Use a sewing gauge to make sure that it is folded down two inches all the way around. Begin at the side seams, keeping the seams open. You can use a pin on either side of the seams to keep them laying flat. Your drawstring opening should now be at the top of the bag. Step seven, remove the arm of the sewing machine so that you can wrap the bag opening around the free arm. Line the folded down edge with the left side of the presser foot and stitch all the way around the opening, starting at one side seam to hide your back stitches. Step eight, turn your bag right side out. We're almost there. Now we wanna add our drawstrings. Starting at one opening on one side seam, use a safety pin to attach to the end of the ribbon. Feed the safety pin through the hole. Bring it all the way through, skipping to the other seam until it comes through the same opening you started with. Remove the safety pins and tie the two ribbons together. Repeat this step for the other piece of ribbon using the opposite open seam. You should now have a drawstring on both sides of your bag. Great job, you finished your bag.